Have you ever thought about how broad the reach of the missionary work of the Seventh-day Adventist Church is? The good news is that at the end of 2022, there were already 212 countries or regions with Adventist presence out of the 235 countries or regions mentioned in the United States Statistics Reports. The question is, how do we reach the remaining 23 countries or regions that still do not have any Adventist presence? North Korea is one of those countries. The Adventist message arrived in the Korean Peninsula in the early 1900s, and before the Korean War, there were 104 Adventist churches in the region that is now North Korea. Since the communist regime took control of that region and founded North Korea in 1948, there has been virtually no information about the existence of Adventists in the country. And now, North Korea is considered one of the countries experiencing the highest levels of religion-related persecution, according to the World Watch List ranking. But the Adventist Church knows that 26 million people in this country need to receive Christ's final warning and invitation. In 2021, the Northern Asia Pacific Division established the North Korea Mission as a department. Their headquarters are located in South Korea, very close to the North Korean border. They have already established centers to support North Korean defectors. Some have already been baptized. But they are praying and preparing for the day the Iron Curtain will open. They plan to establish 1,000 prayer groups, constantly praying for North Korea to open. They also aim to train 1,000 missionaries so that when the country opens, there will already be an army of preachers ready to enter. And they are planning to secure at least 10 billion Korean won, approximately 8.5 million US dollars, in funds, which will support the ambitious plan of simultaneously building 100 church plants in North Korea once they will be allowed to enter the country. It is for situations like this that the Unusual Opportunities Fund comes in. The church has created this special fund to prepare for when unexpected blessings and opportunities will reach God's people, like when the Soviet Union broke into numerous countries in the early 1990s. At that time, the Unusual Opportunities Fund supported hundreds of ministers who entered this vast region and shared the gospel with millions. For Adventists living in areas where the combined offering plan has been adopted, more than 90% of the Adventist population a determined portion of all their unassigned offerings collected at any time will automatically be directed to the Unusual Opportunities Fund. For those residing in areas that use different offering plans, a special offering for this fund is taken once a year. As you return your tithe and your promise offering, keep in mind the Unusual Opportunities Fund and that together we may do greater things for God and go farther and faster. May we put our desires last and God first.